Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting. And our topic today is Net Operating Losses, or NOLs. However, we will be talking about the CARES Act. Okay, we will be talking a little bit more about that. So what is net operating losses? Are negative taxable income on the tax returns and taxable when tax deductible expenses exceed taxable revenues. No tax is payable in the, in the year and net operating losses occurs. The tax law here is the regular tax law, not the CARES Act yet. So the regular tax laws permit an NOL to be used to reduce taxable income in subsequent profitable years. Uh, and it created a deferred tax asset because we will pay a less tax later. Should be recognized in the year the loss occurs. So here we have the same for the CARES Act. Do not expire in the US, okay? They can be carried forward indefinitely until they are used, okay? Companies in the USA are limited to offsetting a maximum of 80% of taxable income. That changes on CARES Act. What changes? Uh, under the CARES Act, the 80% taxable income limitation for net operating loss deductions does not apply for tax years beginning before 2021. So here, we had a change in 2018. So, uh, telling about this 80%. So, if we have losses in, or if we use 80% on 2018, in 2019, we can use 100% uh, for these years as well, and also for the uh, 2020 year. So, under CARES Act, and what is the CARES Act? It was the stimulus package in the US, so this video is for US only for the COVID, okay? So under the CARES Act, NOLs incurred in tax years beginning after 2017, when the new tax law starts, and before 2021, so until 2020, can be carried back five years. What is carried back? Uh, you can get refund if you pay tax in 2019 and had a loss in 2020. So you can use it to get a refund in 2020. 19, for instance. Net operating losses in current tax years beginning after 2017 are still carried forward indefinitely. And, <coughs> sorry, when we are using carry back, we don't produce a DTA, a deferred tax asset, produce an immediately refund on taxes paid pay in those prior years. How does it work? Let's go to our Excel file. And all our Excel files, they are free, and the link to download it is in our video description. As well as, uh, if you subscribe our channel, or when you subscribe our channel, I'm sure you will do that. Uh, you will be the first one to know when a new video arrives. And also, like uh, our Facebook page, Accounting Hub by Dr. Serpin. Let's consider here, Scarping Corporation was established in 2018, so we have nothing before that. From 2018 to 2020, Scarping Corporation presenting net losses and net income in million dollars as follows. And the naked tax rate is 22%. That is the average uh, rounded uh, tax rate here in the US. 2018 net loss to 80. 2019, net income, 160. 2020, another net loss, 140. So what do we have here? We are in 2020, so no CARES Act. CARES Act was established in March 2020. So here, or in 2020, I'm not sure if it was March. So 2018, we had no... Uh, no CARES Act. And here, we will not go through all of the details of, of net operating losses, 
We have videos about that and the video about net operating losses is in our video description as well. So net operating losses 280. So we will carry forward. We were not able to carry back in 2018. Future deductible amounts 280. Uh, so the future tax asset 62. The, the, the three, uh, the four steps here, the first one, uh, tax payable, nothing, we have no tax payable here. Uh, ending balance, 62, because we had no beginning balance, change 62, and our uh, journal entry, deferred tax asset, and income tax expense. Okay, so what do we have here? 2019, no cares act. We have net income 160. We were able to use 80% of our net of our no carry forward 128. So we have a future deductible amount 152. How do we find it? 280 less 128. So our Ending balance will be 33, 33 here. So our tax payable will be 7 because our taxable income is 32. Indexed tax rate 22% or so taxable income $32 million tax rate 22%. So tax payable 7. And we are rounding numbers here, okay? Uh, and if we have uh, ending balance 33, we have a change here of 28, negative 28, so a credit in our deferred tax asset. So our tax expense will be credit deferred tax asset, credit here, credit income tax payable, and income tax expense is the number to balance. That is our tax expense plug. What do we have here? 2020, we have a loss 140. What do we have now? We have carry back. So, what is our carry back? Our carry back is this 32 here. We can get a refund of this net income. So we have a carry forward of one, 108. That is the difference between 140 and 32. So our future deductible amounts will be 152 plus 108. So here we have positive because we are reducing our, uh, our tax loss here. So here, instead of pre-tax income, it is a net operating loss. Now better. So our future deductible amount, 152. So our ending balance will be 57. So 57 here. What, what do we have here? Tax payable, nothing. We could even delete this one. We have no tax payable. And in balance deferred tax asset 57. We have a change of 24. Change of 24 here. And what is our journal entry? That is the change on Paris Act. Debit deferred tax asset 24. Debit income tax refund receivable. How do we find this 7 here? So this income tax receivable is equal to 32, that is our carry back, times 22%. So 22 times 22%, we have our 7 or 704. We are rounding it to 7. So, this income tax payable here that we already paid because we pay usually 
very uh, early in the year, we have here income tax refund. That is just like a personal tax refund. The government will send a check or send a direct deposit here. So income tax refund receivable seven and income tax expense to balance credit 31. So we will have a credit income tax expense because we have net operating losses. Okay, so this is the change for 2020 or in 2020 for 2020, 19 and 18. Okay, guys, so an update about our net operating losses videos. How do we work with CARE Act? Okay, guys, so thank you so much. If you have questions or comments, leave it here or email me at jscarping at gmail.com. Have a very nice day and God bless you.